Hello friends, today we are going to learn various head tracing modes of 8085 microprocessor. So, there are various types of head tracing modes and they are direct head tracing mode, register head tracing mode, immediate head tracing mode, register indirect head tracing mode, and final one is implied or implicit head tracing mode. So, let's try to understand them one by one. Let's start with direct head tracing mode. So, addressing mode of instruction totally depends on operand of that instruction. Let's take example over here. Suppose instruction is LDA7080H. Now, here we should know what is opcode and operand. In LDA7080H, LDA is opcode and 7080 is operand. But this 7080 is address. So, whenever our operand is address, then its addressing mode will become direct addressing mode. You can simply remember that from double D, we can remember addressing mode which is starting with capital D. So, if your operand is address, then its addressing mode will become direct addressing mode. Because of LDA, what will happen? We will load accumulator. So, we will transfer the content of 7080 address to accumulator so whichever value 7080 address is holding then its content will get loaded inside the accumulator let's take one more example suppose instruction is sta 7090h here sta stands for store accumulator so over here the content from accumulator will get stored on address 7090h again over here STA is opcode and 7090 is operand and this operand is address and since operand is address that's why its addressing mode is direct addressing mode. So how to identify direct addressing mode instruction? Its operand is going to be address. Address is generally a four digit number. Then how to identify register addressing mode? So in it operand is going to be register. Let's take example. O R A B in O R A B O R A is opcode and B is operand. O R A stand for or accumulator with B register. Since B is a register, that's why its addressing mode is going to be register addressing mode. Another example is add E. Add E in add E instruction add is opcode e is operand so what will happen because of this the content of e register will get loaded will get added inside the content of accumulator and its answer is going to get stored inside the accumulator and e is register that's why its addressing mode is register addressing mode so whichever instruction is having operand as a register then its addressing mode is going to be register addressing mode Let's see immediate addressing mode. Now in immediate addressing mode, operand is going to be data. Let's take example. Suppose instruction is ADI37H. Here ADI37H stands for add immediate. This 37H data will get added inside the content of accumulator and answer will get stored inside the accumulator in adi 37h adi is opcode and 37h is operand and this operand is now data so whenever your operand is data then its addressing mode is going to be immediate addressing mode or another simple way of finding immediate addressing mode is that in that instruction somewhere you will get i so if i you are getting in that particular instruction then that addressing mode is going to be immediate addressing mode one more example of immediate addressing mode can be lxi b comma 7080h lxi stand for load register pair immediate and which register pair we will load bc register pair so what will happen bc register pair will take data 7080h so, this 7080H data will get loaded inside the BC register pair. Again, over here, 
of brand is 7080H and which is data that's why its addressing mode is immediate addressing mode another shortcut way to identify is that in LXI the last word is I capital I from that you can say that it belongs to immediate addressing mode now next is register indirect addressing mode in it operand is going to be register pair let's take example of mov a comma m now m is nothing but content of content of hl m is nothing but content of content of hl so what we will transfer we will transfer the value of m which is memory inside the accumulator so we will transfer the content of content of hl inside the accumulator so over here the data is not given directly it is given inside the content of content of hl it is given indirectly that's why this addressing mode is register indirect addressing mode over here operand is going to be register pair over here m is nothing but content of content of hl pair and hl is a register pair that's why its addressing mode is going to be register indirect addressing mode now last is implied or implicit addressing mode in these instructions operand is not given example is hlt in hlt of code is hlt operand is not given or let's take one more example nop in nop opcode is nop operand is not given nop stand for no operation nothing will get performed hlt stand for halt the execution of the program so in it operand is totally absent so if to operand is totally absent then its addressing mode is going to be implied or implicit addressing mode so these are the five types of addressing mode we studied them in detail thank you